There's one common complaint that's frequently heard among home sores. I wouldn't mind making some of my own clothes if only someone else would put the zippers in for me. Miss Frances Lampman, clothing specialist with the Home Economic Service, Ontario Department of Agriculture, is going to show, step by step, that putting a zipper in a garment isn't nearly as complicated as it looks or sounds. And now, for the first step, check the zipper opening and the zipper with the zipper tab turned up to make sure that they're exactly the same length. Take the zipper and with needle and thread catch the tapes together where they extend beyond the zipper chain. And now the zipper is ready to insert. Next take the garment and check the width of the seam allowance at the zipper opening. The seam allowance here must be at least 5 eighths of an inch. And at this point, it's necessary to close the zipper opening with a line of basting. To do this, lengthen the stitch on the machine and machine baste along the original seam line, just the length of the opening. And then press the seam open. Now, remember that we've been working with the garment inside out. And that this is the front of the garment, and this is the back. Fold the garment back along the seam line, leaving the back seam allowance free. Now, take the zipper and place it face down along the seam. Match the bottom end of the zipper chain with the bottom end of the line of the machine basting. And notice that this brings the zipper chain along the back seam allowance with the edge of the chain directly in line with the seam. Now pin this in place, putting the pins through the zipper tape and the back seam allowance only. Do not pin through the garment. And now for the first line of machine stitching. Use the regular presser foot for this and begin at the bottom end of the zipper. And as you stitch, keep the edge of the presser foot close to the zipper chain. And you'll notice that Miss Lampman lifts the zipper every inch or so to make sure that the edge of the chain is kept in line with the seam. Now fasten the thread ends securely and then clip them close to the fabric so that there are no thread ends to snag the zipper. Now for the remaining two seams, it's best to change the presser foot to a zipper or a cording foot. A zipper foot is an inexpensive attachment, but it's almost a necessity if you wish to do a truly professional job. Now the zipper up to this point has been face down now turn it face up. And notice how the back seam allowance is being moved toward the zipper. This forms a folded edge. And this edge should lie almost along the zipper chain. Now you want to pin this edge in place. If the material is difficult to pin, then you may baste. And now begin to stitch at the bottom of the zipper. Top stitch along the folded edge as close to the zipper chain as you possibly can. You want the folded edge close to the edge of the chain and you want to stitch as close as possible to the edge of the fold.
fasten the thread securely and clip. And now take the garment and spread it out flat with the zipper face down on the front seam allowance. This forms this very small pleat here at the bottom end of the zipper. And now begin stitching again at the bottom of the zipper at this point. Stitch across the zipper tape, catching in that tiny pleat, then turn and stitch to the top of the zipper. And then turn and stitch across the end. Again, fasten the thread securely and clip and then the zipper is finished. Remove the bastings and if pressing is necessary, press on the wrong side using a pressing mitt or a tailor's cushion. If you should be using one of the new synthetic zippers, then be very sure to protect it with a heavy pressing cloth. So here is the finished zipper. It's flat and smooth, and it's very noticeable, except for that one row of stitching which Miss Lampman put in with contrasting thread, so that you might see it more easily. This method of putting in a zipper makes a neat professional job. It takes very little time, and it's surprisingly simple when you know how. If you wish complete illustrated directions for putting in a zipper, write to the Home Economic Service, 20 Spadina Road, Toronto 4, Ontario.